The fog of history is thick on this property in Shively. Once the most famed bourbon distillery in the world, Stitzel Weller opened on the day they ran the 61st Kentucky Derby, 1935. For a few short hours, the most important city in the world. Not at Churchill that day, instead walking this property, the man who built the distillery and ran it until the year before he died in 1965, Julian Van Winkle Sr., already known to everybody as Pappy. He was very important to the industry in his lifetime, but his status wasn't nowhere near what it is today. Known around the world. Uh, nowadays probably is as famous as Colonel Sanders. Van Winkle produced Old Fitzgerald in Shively. It would be 30 years after his death before the first bottle of bourbon with the name Pappy would be created by his grandson, Julian Van Winkle III. Yeah, I was just kind of in our blood and just kind of grew up around it and uh, just a fabulous place. And everybody that worked there was great friends with uh, Pappy and my dad. His sister Sally has vivid memories of what Pappy was like. If somebody asked him um, how he got into the bourbon business, his, his reply was, I needed a job and I got one. There was lots of bird life and he loved to hunt, so lots of times he would wear his camouflage uh, outfit to when he went to work and go out and hunt in the afternoons. He hunted on the Stitzelweller fields. Van Winkle was known for his honesty and integrity with handshake deals. He wrote letters thanking people for visiting him, and he wrote these personal columns promoting old Fitzgerald that appeared in national magazines and newspapers. They had titles like, All in Favor of Flavor, Say I, or How to Stay Married for Life, Happy Rights, Stick to One Model, like we do with Old Fitzgerald. Where did it all start? Right here on Louisville's busy Whiskey Row in 1893, at the age of 20, a young Julian Van Winkle, right out of college, Center College in Danville, Kentucky, walked through those doors for the first time. He was beginning his career as a bourbon salesman with the W.L. Weller Company. The other buildings where he worked as a young man are still standing on Story Avenue in Butchertown. This is the Stitzel Distilling Company headquarters, and you can see it right here on this 1902 depiction of the plant. He traveled by mule, by horse and buggy, by train, and by airplane, and none of that phased him. I mean, he just moved right on into the future. Let's go, Pappy. 004 is a good number. Thank you. And what a future it turned out to be. Now his name is on the most sought after bourbon in the world. But Van Winkle has been gone longer than most of the people fighting for his product have been alive. Some believe he's just a creation of good marketing, like this picture of him with his dog Thunder pulling his golf cart on a Louisville golf course. We asked his grandchildren if they had any film of Pappy in Louisville to find out what he was really like. Look at him, isn't he handsome? He always looked that same age. Kind of dapper. <clears throat> always wore a hat. Unseen for decades, stored away in an attic, the Van Winkles found Pappy and his wife Katie Smith, known as Nana, walking out of this home in Lexington. Years later, there's Sally on horseback with her dad, Julian II, in Louisville's Indian Hills neighborhood. Pappy and Nana visited every Sunday afternoon. Pappy is dressed with a tie, wearing a hat, smoking a cigar, Nana by his side. Here's color film showing him in a brown suit in Louisville, looking like he's straight off a bourbon label. But the classic clip from the attic is this 1950s scene on Delray Beach, Florida. Nana's all dressed up, and both of them all dressed like they were going to church, fully dressed, 100 degrees. <laughs> in his suede jacket. Even more amazing is how the Pappy brand was created, not in some corporate boardroom, but in the head of one man. In fact, one photo, this one, changed the course of the entire bourbon industry. That was the aha moment for sure. Coming up, how Pappy the bourbon almost didn't happen and Pappy's Louisville home still visited by a family spirit.